Obviously, you don't really get to participate in the indoor season. So how was it to get out there, outdoors, competing again? Yeah, it felt great. I've uh, been waiting a long time. Watching everybody do so well in indoors, you know, is always exciting. And uh, just to get my foot on the track is always fun. So I was very excited. And were you expecting to make quite the impact you did on that opening performance? Uh, yeah, I had some hints coming in practice. I had some really good throws, and I felt really good coming into the meet. And you know, I just took it from a short approach instead of a full, and expected the best, and got a pretty good throw out there. So I was very happy. So can you talk? Can you kind of walk us through that that throw? Obviously, seventy seven ninety five, I think it was. Yep. So kind of talk me through that. Cause obviously, third moved you up to number three all time in A and M. So that's a big deal. So talk us through that moment. Uh, yeah, no, I, I kind of just lined up on the runway, took my throw, uh, felt really good, obviously. Um, when it came out 77.95, I'm, I'm ecstatic, but I know there's more to build on. And it's third all time on the A&M list, and that's a, that's a big list to make it on for Javelin. So we've had some pretty good Olympians sitting in there, and it's a really good feeling. So I'm hoping to come out and uh, keep building off of what I've already produced. And, you know, that's it's definitely a job not finished. So. so obviously we've got quite a big Javelin group, guys and girls. Kind of talk to me. The, about the work you guys put in that we don't necessarily see during indoor season. So yeah, it's been tough. The last two years we've been working out, you know, at a side facility because we haven't had our outdoor finished yet. Um, so we've gotten really close together and we've been training in a, in a pretty good group. And I think we all share a pretty close connection and we all train very hard and build off each other. And um, I really enjoy the atmosphere that we have on the throwing uh, squad here at A&M. And it's, it's easy to build off of for sure. It makes it a very fun atmosphere to compete in. And you mentioned now you train over by Pierre. Now you're back over here. So kind of, how is this facility for you guys? Uh, this facility is uh, is otherworldly. I think it was good to take a step back and throw it. You know, the, our other facilities are extremely nice as well. But it was kind of nice to be over there and kind of be separated from the team. You know, you kind of build it out um, in a little bit of a rougher spot, which is you know it gives you something to uh, be proud of. But now that we're back over here, I mean, it's world class. It's the best place you can throw in the nation and. You know, just being over here for the last month has been uh, game changing and I'm, I'm ready to throw off of it, so I'm excited. So kind of talk to me about what your goals are. Obviously, you've hit a personal best to open the season, but kind of what are your goals for the remainder of the season individually and then as a team? Yeah, so individually, my goals are to just keep building off of uh, what I've thrown and to stay consistent. Um, you know, I don't, I don't fear an athlete that does great one time. I fear an athlete that's consistently good. So I just want to stay consistently good. I want to stay up there and I want to continue to uh, push for around 80 meters. 80 meters plus would be amazing. And I really think I got it in me. I mean, if I could hit 77 off short approach, I think I can get 80 ready, uh, later on this season. Uh, as far as team goals go, uh, obviously, I think the number one thing is to uh, win nationals as a team. And uh, I think we have what it takes. So we have a great group of guys. Uh, I'm just asking every athlete, just what's the excitement, you know, um, with coming back from home and having an um, opening of a home meet here and just being back out there that you guys haven't had for a while? Yeah, so I haven't thrown. Um, this is my redshirt junior season, so I've been here for four years now. And I haven't thrown over it our facility is a home meet since my freshman year so I'm extremely excited and I had, I had a shoulder surgery so this will be my first time in a long time throwing here and I'm very excited so what does it mean to um, just kind of start I mean you guys started um well, international but coming back and just have kind of making that statement here with, with a home um, invitational uh, I think it means a lot um I think we're going to see some really good performances I think people's families are going to be here and friends are going to be here which is going to be a nice change for once and uh it's gonna be a little bit of a switch up, but I think everybody's ready, so. And how do you guys obviously build for momentum? Because there was a couple obviously standout performances while you guys in Puerto Rico. So how does seeing your teammates succeed? Like build you guys up? I, I think it builds all of us up. If, if one person can do it, I think everybody gets the mindset that we can all all do it together. And um, Coach Henry always emphasized it has to be done. Everybody has to do their best on the, on the same day when it comes to nationals and SECs. And, I think just get, uh, getting your foot in the water and seeing other people do it is, is always a plus. So I think if we continue to build off that, we're going to see some really good weeks coming up. So. And then how does Coach Delagaza help you, obviously, take those little changes to help you make those maximum throws? Uh, Coach Chico is very specific in training, um, even in throws. Like uh, when I had that, you know, PR this weekend, he I came over to him and, you know, he was excited for a second, but then he said, you know, you've done A, B, and C, D wrong which you know it's nice but uh, it's a little it's a little frustrating at times but it keeps you on your toes because you always know you can do more um which is extremely exciting and it always gives you hope that you can throw a lot farther when he comes over there and critiques you like that even on your good throws so it's very exciting he's a great coach i'm good that's it sweet thank you